भगवान श्री योगी राम शरद कुमार श्री सर्व योगी राम शरद कुमार नमस्ते we have been extremely fortunate in getting the blessings of bhagwan for one more session of divya nama sankirtan in his powerful shrine let's celebrate this moment with deep gratitude when i said a few days back that we could stop the leelas for some time there were people they wanted me to continue the leelas i thought we could go ahead with the teachings it's very important to know what bhagwan had to say by way of sadhana but after a few days again people were asking to continue the leelas they said they learned more from the leelas so as per their wish i started today the story of shrimati radharaji shri of chennai it's again the glory of bhagwan's naam Sri Radha Radha Shri is working in Kalamandal Matriculation School in Chennai. This happened in 1991-92. There was a time everything was going on so well. and her mother used to attend the satsangs and the nama sankirtans of shri haridas giri swami in narada gana sapa chennai when everything was going on well there was a turn around and suddenly the difficulty started one after the other as it always happens for rajarajeshwari her husband shri sharma had a mild heart attack she developed some complications with the uterus there was a lot of blood she was losing and the doctors had come to the conclusion that the uterus had to be removed altogether she was very frightened in great misery she had come to know about 
Bhagwan, but she had not yet started chanting his name seriously or anything. But she was feeling miserable, and one day, when her mother, after attending Sri Haridas Giri Swami's Satsang and Nam Sankirtan, she seemed to be very excited. She came straight to Raja Rajeshwari's place and said, Look, we have found a way out of this misery. Sri Haridas Giri Swamiji today said in his satsang, there is a Mahan, there is a great soul, a great master in Tiruvannam Lake, whose name, Yogi Ram Saratma, is a mantra of great power. He said, if any of you got into any difficulties, go and see him and chant his name and you would see how your problems vanish. What a great thing to do. My grateful pranams to Shahridas Giri Swamiji for saying this. The huge audience, he always invited, he always attracted huge audience. So the mother said, Rajeshwari, start chanting Yogi Ram Sarathma's name. I think that would guide you to the right decision. So the impending surgery was postponed. And she started. At the time there was one judge, Balramaya, who was doing, practicing Siddha Vaidya. He had become very famous. He had treated the cancer patients from both India and abroad. He used to go abroad also, giving lectures. So coming to know about him, Rajeshwari went with her people to see him. Sri Balramaya told her to go and see Puravi Palayam Sri Koti Swami, great Siddha. He also said, you go to the Jameen, use my name, and Sri Koti Swami would give darshan to you. So she and her people went there Sri Koti Swami sat with them, talked to them nicely, and then said, Go to Tiruvannamalai. There's a great master, a Mahatma, Yogi Ram Sarakma. Go and see him, have his darshan. So, Rajeshwari, she had been wanting to see herself. And now, Sri Haridas Giri Swami had recommended, Sri Koti Swami. She became very, very eager. She could not contain herself. She had to come. In the meantime, there was Vasanta Dure Raj, who used to come to the ashram. Bhagavan had shifted to Sudama and started giving regular darshans at the ashram. Vasanta Dureraj used to come with a group of ladies and she had composed many songs on Yogi Ram Sarathkama. And she started to spread Om Shri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram, everywhere. She and her people, taking the advice of Bhagwan, used to go to different schools and teach this mantra Om Shri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram to the students there. And she was spreading it in her own way. This is how she came to Kalamanda Matriculation School also. And this started 
a new wave of enthusiasm among the teachers and the students. And Rajeshwari joined the group with great excitement. She began to do the Guru Seva. She was chanting Yogi Ram Sutma's name now incessantly. At the same time, she joined the group of Vasantha Raj. Her own school students started chanting this name, Om Shri Ram, Shri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram. And they used to go to other schools also, she joined. Soon after this, visiting places and singing the great name, one day suddenly she became aware that she was not suffering anymore from any of those ailments that she had complained earlier, unable to bear the pain. Suddenly she found out she had no such trouble at all and she was completely free. She also used to have wheezing because of which they had postponed the surgery. She found that she was free of all that the uterus trouble, the wheezing, and whatever followed. To her great delight and joy, she knew it was the mantra of Yogi Ram Saratkama and the seva she joined Vasantha Gurirajan to do. Now her own students and the teachers there, they all felt very acutely that they should come to Tiruvannamalai, visit Bhagwan and take his blessings, thank him heartily for all that they had received. So some fifty students and five teachers came to the ashram, they sat before Bhagwan, and the students were all chanting together, Om Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram. And when they chanted together, Bhagwan came down from the dais. He was dancing. He started to dance, waving the hand fan <coughs> and blessing them with that. And then suddenly they would feel impelled to chant Yogi Rama Sarat Kumara Jai Guru Jai Guru Jai Guru. This is the mantra she received from Haridas Giri Swami in Narada Gansuma. This is what he said. He gave the mantra publicly in front of all those people. And this is what her mother picked up and passed on to Radhirajishwari, who was chanting it ceaselessly and is now completely free from all her complaints. So these students intermittently be chanting Yogi Rama Surat Kumara Jai Guru Jai Guru Jai Guru Raya Om Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram. But when they started chanting Yogi Rama Surat Kumara, Bhagwan would stand still, raise his hand fan with a certain gaze and was blessing them. But as soon as they reverted to Om Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram, he would start dancing. Both were great gestures of blessing and the students were absolutely delighted. And of course the ashram had arranged nice food for them. So after blessings from Bhagwan and ashram prasad, they all returned happily. Radhiraji Shri says she could never forget the sweetness, the joy, the overwhelming joy that she felt on this visit. Just see, sometime back I was telling you when I was talking about the teachings of Bhagwan, 
how Bhagwan quoted Ramayana. He said, when Sri Hanuma engaged himself in Rama Seva, when, they reach, when he reached Sri Lanka, those asuras set fire to his tail. Being engaged in his master's work, the fire did not burn him, it became cool. So Bhagwan was pointing out, when you give your heart and soul to the Guru Seva, how you were saved from the effects of the adversities. And see, when Raja Rajeshwari started to chant Yogi Rama Surat Kumara, Jay Guru, Jay Guru, Jay Guru Raya, even when she went to see Koti Swami recommended by Balramaya, Koti Swami prompted her. He promptly said, You go to see Yogi Ram Surat Kumara of Tiruvannamale. And she began to join this Vasanta Durirajan group and they introduced Om Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram in the school and they visited other schools teaching the students there this mantra, this great mantra, Om Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram. She engaged herself completely in the Guru Seva and the Guru Nama that cured her to her great delight that cured her completely. She did not feel the pain of the ailments anymore. <clears throat> now talking about this Koti Swami, our pronouns to him, grateful pronouns to him, I remember another incident. I had heard of a story about Sri Ilai Raja, the popular music director, that when he had gone there to have Darshan of Koti Swami, he used to come to Bhagwan also, Sanadi Street. When Koti Swami was blessing him, Sri Ilai Raja uttered the name Yogi Ram Saratkama. Immediately, Sri Koti Swami said, Avatara Purusha, Avatara Purusha, twice he pronounced Avatara Purusha. Now, after hearing the story, I was waiting for a chance to make sure if it was true. As it always happened, when you have a doubt or something, by Bhagwan's grace, things would arrange themselves in such a way you would get a chance to verify whatever you wanted. So one day when I had gone to see Bhagwan, Sri Ilai Raja was already seated there. So I took permission from Bhagwan. I asked him, Bhagwan, I heard about the story, I narrated it and asked for permission to verify it straight from Sri Lairad. Bhagwan nodded his head, so I asked his brother if that was true. Sri Lairad just said, yes. When I had gone for the Rishan of Koti Swami, when he was blessing me, I uttered Yogi Ram Sarit Kumar, and immediately he said, Avatara Purusha, Avatara Purusha, meaning a great incarnation, a great incarnation of the Divine. So you see, I was very, very happy. And I remember another incident, I always had this habit whenever I heard a story, I would make it a point to verify it with the right people if they came to Bhagwan. Once Sri Chandra Mauliji had come to have Darshan of Bhagwan at Sudama, I had heard of the story that 
Shri Kanchi Paramacharya spoke about Bhagavan. So as soon as Chandramauli Ji came, I requested Bhagavan to give me a chance to verify what I heard. Bhagavan nodded again, <coughs> and then without telling what I heard, I asked Chandramauli Ji to narrate what happened when he mentioned Bhagavan's name to Paramacharya. Chandramauli Ji said, looking at Bhagavan with folded hands, Paramacharya said, Avalna rumbu melerka. They are all high above. This was the comment of Paramacharya. As soon as Bhagavan heard it, his eyes were filled with tears. And then Bhagavan said, Devki, you see how kind Paramacharya is towards his beggar? How kind of him? How kind of him? He melted and tears were streaming down. I remember another incident. A professor had come from Columbia University from States. When Bhagwan used to give darshan in the old darshan mandir, the first darshan hall, <coughs> this professor came straight, prostrated before Bhagwan. Bhagwan put a finger on his nose and said, what could have brought you here? Who are you? Where are you from? Then he introduced himself as professor from Columbia University. He had, it was the Department of Philosophy and Sanskrit. He had come to Chennai to study certain Vedic texts from Agnihotram Tathacharya. Agnihotram Tathacharya said to him, Go and see Yogi Ram Sarat Kumar of Tiruvannamalai. He is the embodiment of all these Vedas. Go prostrate and take his blessings before you start studying. He is the very embodiment of the Vedas. So you see, Bhagwan, of course, you know, the thunderous laughter, peals cascading, peals of laughter cascading. He said, is it what he said? Do you believe what he said, Professor? Do you believe what Tathacharya said? This beggar is so dirty, he's so bad, he's so mad, he's so lazy and crazy. How could this beggar be an embodiment of Vedas? It was very kind, it's very, very kind of Agnihotram Tathacharya to say that. But do you believe it, Professor? The Professor was moved to tears, and with folded hands he said, I heard it from him, and I see it now. I see before me the true embodiment of Vedas. Despite these dirty rags and the carelessly thrown turban, and your cigarette smoking, I feel the truth of what he said, Swami. Now this Bhagavan is here in front of us. 
వెరిలి దక్షిణామూర్తి standing all the time facing the south with his raised hand in benediction with a beautiful smile on his face and eyes focused on brahmarandra we shall submit our today's prayers we see how chanting of his name and engaging oneself in guru seva freezes from the difficulties of life from the ailments miserable as we are all the time affected by this and that So this is a great lesson again, once again, this Leela tells us, gives us this teaching. Bhagavan often said, for the most intelligent, Guru's lotus feet and Guru mantra will do. It's for the less intelligent, Bhagavad Gita, Yoga Vasishtam and other scriptures are necessary. it sounds like just the reverse of what people say we always think the most intelligent read bhagavad gita yoga vasishtham and all that and the simple people resort to guru's lotus feet and guru mantra but bhagwan said just the reverse because the most intelligent people would not waste time and energy they would exercise economy in everything the simplest root is the most profound and the highest so the simplest sadhana is resorting to the name of the guru and worshiping the holy lotus feet of the guru so simple and so profound bhagwan we hold on to your feet your holy feet and beg you again and again for your immediate divine intervention to free the entire humanity from the virulent virus from the dreadful grip of this virulent virus and its variants and bring back a dharmic normalcy to the world and bhagwan kindly approved the fear the agony the anger the helplessness the misery from the hearts of people and arrest the spreading diseases you enter the medicine the vaccine so that it would kill the virus and its family once for all and please bless the medicine to reach the right people and all those great souls who are laboring day and night at the very risk of their lives in order to save other lives day after day after day no nearly one year please give them protection and a boost to the economy and above all we hold on to your holy feet and appeal to your generosity to bless us with constant remembrance of your name and the awareness that we are only instruments we don't exist except as instruments in your hands and we appeal to you to become fitting instruments in your hands go about our daily life with deep gratitude jai yogiram satkuma